only to make sure that all girls with disabilities have equal access to education. Children with disabilities have continued to experience um, difficulties and barriers uh, in accessing education. Their voices have not been heard, their grievances, and therefore it's high time government should include or rather incorporate uh, young voices in their policy making and programs because I believe education is the first step of elimination of poverty. Poverty is a global issue, but households with people with disabilities tend to face higher chances of poverty. Indeed, disability should be a development issue that should be mainstreamed in every processes of any country. Disabled people also have right as other people have. They have right to be educated, to travel on public places in tra public transit, to have occupation, to have their own family. When I was a child, people used to address me as special child and even until now, they still label me as special person because I am sitting on a wheelchair. There is nothing special in disabled people. They are all the same as other human beings. Pasti sulit untuk mencapai tujuan tanpa ada nanti terlibatan anak-anak muda disabilitas sebagai anak muda disabilitas berharap penuh dalam program agenda 2019 untuk mempertimbangkan peran kami untuk mendaki bagian dalam mewujudkan program MDGS setelah kemiskinan dan perubahan iklim di akibat kesalahan manusia. Society. The right to independent living. The right to education. The right to employment. The right to participate meaningfully in decision making. So, let's strive together to make the post 2015 development agenda a reality for all disabled persons. My dear friends, the final message I have for you today is respect us, don't ignore us. Include us, don't exclude us. Give us the opportunity. Disability is not inability. Thank you. submission and um, I would like now uh, the Assistant Secretary General in Daisa, Mr. Thomas Gus, to take the floor and uh, to declare this uh, day really open. Thank you. Thank you and uh, for this honor and so I think we can all applaud this day. Huh? To, uh, to read the following message on behalf of the Secretary General on the, the International Day of Persons with Disabilities 2013. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, more than one billion of us live with disabilities. We must remove all barriers that affect the inclusion and participation of persons with disabilities in society, including through changing attitudes that fuel stigma 
and institution institutionalized discrimination. In September, during the high-level meeting of the General Assembly on Disability and Development, <coughs> United Nations member states discussed the many ways that exclusion not only impacts the lives of persons with disabilities, but affects the development of communities and society as a whole. They recommitted to taking national and international action to support disability inclusive development. The UN system will continue to support those efforts. We need to work harder to ensure that infrastructure and services support inclusive, equitable, and sustainable development for all. This includes guaranteeing meaningful participation in processes that affect the rights and on interests of persons with disabilities by providing an enab enabling environment. To that end, we are inaugurating a UN Accessibility Center at the UN headquarters. I call on the rest of the UN system and our partners to follow this lead. On this International Day of Persons with Disabilities, I call on governments, members of the UN system, businesses and civil society to break barriers and open doors of opportunity for all persons with disability. Together, let us build an inclusive society for all. This concludes the message of the Secretary General. Thank you very much. And if you allow me, I would like to add a few words on behalf, on my own behalf and on behalf of the Department of Economic and Social Affairs. On my own behalf, first to say how thrilled I am to be here. Uh, I find that this community has the the most passion and the most empathy, the way it brings forward its policy recommendation and, and uh, requests. And I'm always very impressed to be here and, uh, and to be part of these events with uh, my dear friend and colleague Daniel here. So allow me to say these few words on behalf of uh, the Department of Economic and Social Affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to extend our appreciation to the co-organizers of today's event the permanent mission of Japan, Ambassador, um, and uh, Leonard Cheshire, Disability, as well as to all the other co-sponsors, thank you so much for your support. The International Day is ce celebrated to promote awareness and mobilize action to foster the full participation of persons with disabilities in social life and development. 2013, 2013 is a special year. This past September, the General Assembly convened a high-level meeting on disability and development. Its outcome document provides policy guidance on how to ensure accessibility and inclusion of persons with disabilities in all aspects of development efforts. This includes efforts to eradicate poverty and promote full and productive employment and decent work and access to health and education. As we heard it too, just now also in this uh, very strong movie. Over many decades, the Department of Economic and Social Affairs has been at the forefront of promoting inclusive society and development for all, including persons with disabilities. As the deadline for the achievement of the MDGs approaches and discussions for a post-2015 development agenda progress, we have a unique opportunity to establish a disability-inclusive development framework towards 2015 and beyond. To this end, DESA launched this past July a forum on disability and development. It has brought together a wide range of stakeholders to explore and advance a disability inclusive post-2015 development agenda. Indeed, equitable and sustainable development simply cannot be achieved without the inclusion of persons with disabilities. Today, let us deliver on this message of inclusion through action. Thank you. Assistant Secretary General Gas, thank you for having declared the opening of, uh, of the 2013 International Day of Persons with uh, Disabilities. Um, and I thank you very much for your remarks. And I invite now the co organizer of the day, His Excellency Mr. Motohide. Yoshikawa.
um, permanent representative of Japan to the United Nations to deliver his message of inclusion. Thank you. Good morning, uh, good morning everybody. Thank you, Daniela, for the introduction. Thank you, Mr. Gass, for the uh, message that you have read out. Uh, General Ambassadors, uh, distinguished guests, and the uh, participants, good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to be here as the uh, one of the co-organizers of today's events commemorating the International Day of uh, Persons with Disabilities. Uh, I wish to extend my deep appreciation to the uh, other co-organizers, namely United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, uh, DESA, and the uh, Leonard Sheshev Disability. Uh, my task today is not to make a long statement, only one minute, to uh, introduce the uh, uh, Madame Mutsuko Takenouchi, who has come uh, from Japan. She is the founder of the uh, organization called Aikibo, which means in Japanese, Indigo uh, Studio. Uh, it is a Tokyo-based welfare organization that offers persons with disabilities of opportunity to learn uh, traditional arts craft uh, that she will speak and then they are selling it uh, without any subsidies. It is a marvelous organization that I will let her speak uh, on by her own words what she does. Uh, I want to add that uh, uh, the, uh, this evening at uh, 6 o'clock to uh, 7.30 uh, we are organizing a reception for all the participants on the first floor of the Secretariat building. She has brought uh, uh, the people who have worked with her, and there will be a demonstration of what they do. And we will uh, serve some uh, sushi and drinks. So uh, you are all uh, very welcome uh, at the end of the uh, uh, today's work. I want to add a couple of things. The, uh, in the work of the uh, uh, from the government viewpoint, how to promote the human rights of persons with disabilities, we would like to take advantage of the, uh, the decision made this uh, summer by uh, in Buenos Aires that Tokyo will be hosting the uh, 2020 uh, Paralympics. And the, uh, we would like to take advantage of this uh, opportunity uh, still some years to go, but with uh, preparation to foster the inclusion of people from all walks of life uh, through sports, and the, uh, I would be uh, uh, inviting all of you to give us information, uh, ideas, so that uh, uh, 2020 will not be only the occasion for uh, Olympic Games, but as more important focus be uh, given to uh, Paralympics. Uh, with these words, I would like to uh, invite the uh, Madam uh, Takenouchi, founder of Aikibo, to. Uh, uh, explain, speak to us what uh, she has been doing. Thank you very much.
障害者の障害者による障害者のための愛好法です。Of the disabled, by the disabled, for the disabled is what 愛好法 is all about. 愛好法に通う障害者はみんな通常の社会生活が困難と認定される障害者ランクにあります。通常このような施設では提供された単純作業を行い、間違いが起きないよう作業を管理するのはする傾向が多いのですが、私たちの私たちはこの常識から離脱し、障害者自らが活動しています。Disabled people joining I c o b o are identified as not able to pursue a normal life in society. Normally, such a facility will make the disabled people do simple tasks and be monitored for safety reasons. But we have gone beyond common practice to make disabled people act based on their own will. Not only to follow just what has been given, they use indigo dyeing, which is a Japanese traditional craft to weave, to make braided strings, etc. To express their own individuality through their own craft creation and also to interact with society themselves. Making them independent has made their, their expression much alive and they have grown and learned a lot by this independence, socialization, and by being economically independent themselves. <laughs> ワシントン州に愛好者の家を設立しアメリカでの生活を体験し世界8カ国の拠点を実践してまいりました海外での生活や活動をすることで新たな刺激を受けながらオリジ,オリジ,ティオリジナリティの高い作品を生んできました Going out in society did not just mean within Japan Our objective was to stage ourselves across the nation We built Aikobo House Um, house at, in the state of Washington to experience living abroad and held exhibitions in eight countries around the world. By living and actively in foreign countries, stimulated the members in a different way and produced arts with originality. So, in the home, the Korean to you, what I should say, I can't go to Katagata, I come out of Konoba, so that what I should do, no Katago, to Sakuhin, no Ichigo, Minakami, Oshio Katata, the Sakuhitara, the Today, with a great honor, we are able to introduce、uh, our activities and crafts in the United Nations where people across the world will gather. From 6 p.m. tonight, there will be a reception being held at the North Lawn Building, ground floor lobby. Please come and take a look at our Indigo crafts and also enjoy wonderful food which Chef Mikuni, a world renowned chef, has flown just for this occasion. We look forward to seeing you again during the reception tonight. <laughs> 支援を受けたことを心より感謝申し上げます。それからしあの被災者の方も三名、えー、本日参加しております。ありがとうございました。Last but not least, we would like to thank all of you around the world for your generous support towards our devastation during 2011 earthquake. There are actually three people from that devastated area participating in the reception tonight. Thank you very much.
sorry, Mutsuko Takenouchi, as well as the interpreter Reiko Kamata. Thank you very much. Um, I would like now to ask uh, His Excellency, Mr. Eduardo Jose de Vega, Deputy Permanent Representative of uh, the Philippines. I think that they should have been arrived by now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, to, to make to deliver your message of inclusion about the Philippines. Thank you. Uh, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I speak on behalf of our permanent representative of the country. Um, it has become a welcome uh, tradition for the Philippines uh, to celebrate the International Day of Persons with Disabilities at the UN headquarters with DESA and other stakeholders. Uh, each year we have a different theme, which is of course well thought out months in advance. This year's celebration is a very special one, coming as it does barely three months after the General Assembly held a high-level meeting on disability and development entitled The Way Forward, a Disability Inclusive Development Agenda towards 2015 and beyond. It may be recalled that it was the first time in the history of the UN that the General Assembly held a high-level meeting on disability and development. Holding the meeting was therefore already a significant achievement in itself. More importantly, however, the meeting provided us with a historic opportunity to create change. It heightened awareness and brought the much-needed visibility to strengthen efforts in ensuring accessibility for and inclusion of persons with disabilities in all aspects of development efforts. With the adoption of the outcome document, it also helped us decide on the way forward to achieve our goal of full and equal participation of persons with disabilities in society. The outcome document is actually a very short document consisting of just 10 paragraphs. It, however, gives concrete recommendations for realizing the Millennium Development Goals for persons with disabilities and provides for the follow-up process to ensure that member states and stakeholders stay engaged to achieve the realization of the development goals for persons with disabilities beyond 2015. It's an important and useful reference for all stakeholders in ensuring that deliberations for the post-2015 development framework fully take into account the elements contained therein. It is important that we give special focus to an inclusive and people-centered approach. Uh, distinguished guests, um, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot overemphasize enough the importance of ensuring accessibility and inclusion of persons with disabilities in all aspects of development. Persons with disabilities should never be viewed as mere beneficiaries of development. Given the right opportunity and fair chance, they can greatly enhance and contribute to the growth of communities and society. We all need to do a share, however, to provide the enabling environment in order to enhance the capabilities of all individuals and groups, including persons with disabilities, to participate fully in all aspects of society and to exercise greater control and choice over their own well-being. We have uh, much work to do ahead of us. We need to ensure equal access of all to education, employment, technology, public spaces, among others. The adoption of the outcome document of the high-level meeting is but the start of the journey. But with steadfast dedication and commitment, we can certainly break barriers and open doors and one day realize a more open and inclusive society where everyone can effectively participate and reach their full potential. Thank you. Thank you very much to the representative of the permanent mission of the Philippines. And now I invite His Excellency, Mr. Juan Manuel Gonzalez de Linares Balu, Deputy Permanent Representative of Spain, was also together with the Philippines one of the two co-facilitators of the high meeting on disability and development that took place last September. We have the floor. Thank you, Ms. Lass. Uh, it's uh, an 
an honor to participate in this uh, opening ceremony of the commemoration of the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. Uh, I thank you the Secretary General and, uh, for his message, and I thank you the Assistant Secretary General, Thomas Gass, as well as the Department of Economic and Social Affairs, TISA, for organizing this uh, event. Uh, and of course, I, I want to, uh, to thank all those who have been kind enough to join us today in this uh, celebration. Let me <coughs> also make a special reference to the voices of persons with disabilities on inclusion, empowerment, and development, participating in the theatrical performance by the Broadway Theater, Breaking Through Barriers, which will illuminate this International Day after our intervention. The International Day of Persons with uh, Disabilities is a day of remembrance and a day for commitment. As you know, many efforts in the field of disabilities have taken place at the international level. These efforts materialized in 2006 with the endorsement of the Convention on Human Rights with Persons with Disabilities. Thanks to the Convention, international society has recognized that persons with disabilities are, first and foremost, human beings with inherent rights and that they are subject to suffer from multiple discrimination. Concerning the discussions of the post-2015 uh, agenda, Her Majesty the Queen Sophia of Spain at the ceremony of the prestigious Franklin Delano Roosevelt International Disability Rights Award on 9, uh, on 9 September this year stated that disability cannot be excluded <coughs> from the debate of the new development agenda, as poverty affects persons with disability much harder. That is why the high-level meeting on disability and development on 23rd September became so relevant. It was a historic event, as my colleague from the Philippines has just mentioned. We, both of our countries, had the honor to co-facilitate the outcome document of that Another meeting. The relevance of the 2006 uh, conventions uh, lies in the change of pattern that it introduced in the field of disabilities, as it no longer considers persons with disabilities as simple recipients of uh, social assistance and health care. It also treats them as right holders, as they deserve. This way, the prevailing health approach is left behind. This is not a matter of health. And the perspective of the human rights is incorporated. My country has made and is still making efforts in this regard, adapting this legislation to this new pattern, and wishes to call upon the rest of the international community to align our efforts. My main message today is that the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities and the final outcome document of the high level meeting of 23 September 2013 are not an objective in themselves, but rather the beginning of a long way, and we still have far to go. Our objective is ambitious because it lies in the application of high standards favoring consolidation and acknowledgement <coughs> of the rights of persons with disabilities by as many countries as possible. This should be our shared commitment to achieve a totally inclusive society. It is indeed is a hard task, but it also brings with its results, even if partially, great moments of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you, His Excellency Mr. Juan Manuel Gonzalez de Linares Calo, for his message, and then now I invite His Excellency Mr. Macarias. a uh, permanent representative of Kenya. And he was uh, uh, and is president also of the conference of, uh, the con of, of state parties to the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. So the floor is yours, Mr. Thank you. Thank you very much and a very good morning to everybody. Um, let me first of all say, um, uh, Big thank you to those.